In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with this house, and with all who live here. And with your spirit. When Christ took flesh through the Blessed Virgin Mary, he made his home with us. Let us now pray that he will enter this home and bless it with his presence. Brothers and sisters, listen to the words of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said in 72, In whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him, but if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the labor deserves its payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Carol, first of all, we'd like to thank you for uh, welcoming us as your guests. We as priests, of course, represent Jesus Christ, and in very special moments like Mass and Confession, we take the person of Christ himself on. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Martha, who we know welcomed Jesus into her home and was blessed with his presence. And we consider it a great blessing, uh, your generosity, Carol, you and your husband and your family, for opening up your doors to us priests as we uh, relax for a few days. And we thank you for your generosity, just like Martha welcomed Jesus and was blessed uh, by her generosity. We too genuinely feel blessed by your generosity. And we thank you, and um, as a great or small sign of our gratitude, we, we want to bless your house, not only with our presence, but with this holy water. Again, thank you, Carol, and for, for your generosity and for all you're doing to help us rest this time. Let us pray. Lord, be close to your servants who are in this home today and ask for your blessing. Be their shelter when they are at home, their companion when they are away and their welcome guests when they return. And at last, receive them into the dwelling place you have prepared for them in your Father's house, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let this water call to mind our baptism into Christ, who has redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Amen. Okay, Carol, we're going to go through the house and using one of the roses that was given to us in Charles' house, Bless the different rooms. Give it a little, little bit of God's love. Let us pray. May the peace of Christ rule in our hearts, and may the word of Christ in all its richness dwell in us, so that whatever we do in word and in work, we will do in the name of the Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father. Son and Holy Spirit, descend upon you. Amen. Thank you very much. Thanks, Carol.